Even though you might think we're off to the beach with our tent, it's actually our bee-proof extracting room that we're about to erect. So we'll just clean up a little bit, put up our tent, get some honey organised. So I guess we play the music now and go do 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 and it all happens really quick. set up. This is probably the closest thing we're going to get to a summer holiday in our blooming beach tent or holiday tent. Our bee proof tent actually is what it is. And anyway, we've got our bench set up so we're going to get our honey pour happening. Still using me honey pour. I reckon it works good. You don't have to have all your blooming wax extractions and all the rest of the carry on that you have with the big blooming cutter off a capera. I find that there's not so much wax. Having thought of that moment though, we've got to put a bucket under our bloomin' thing here because otherwise we're going to have honey on the floor and that'd be pointless. And that, by the way, this honey pour video apparently is over about 500,000 views, which is kind of crazy and kind of awesome. So don't forget to click, click, share and subscribe or whatever it is that happens out there in internet land. And we're in this long for the long haul now. So we've got our, we've got our honey frames that we picked up the other day. Grab one of them out, pop it on our bench. A bit bubbly down there. I think they've had probably had broad beans for breakfast. I think that lot. <laughs> You've done a good job, chicks, in all these arduous conditions. <laughs> Not that excited. I still reckon this is better than the hot. Than the, this is a lot better than just a plain hot knife, I reckon. But I might be wrong. But I enjoy it anyway. Big test to open our little trap door. So we've got it on model two instead of cycle two. Now this one your frames are going this way instead of flat, so you do we'll find out in a minute. I wonder if you put the I guess you'd put the fat bits on this side, but they do. You suppose you'd do it like that. Would it go like that? Or would it go the other way? Okay. I think it might go the other way around, so we'll sit it, sit it with the small bar to the outside. Seems to sit better like that. Oh, hey, stop it, you! <laughs> it's trying to bite me. Oh. When I was putting this thing together and giving it a bit of a pre-clean, the jolly lid come down and whacked me right on the nose when no one was looking, so that was a bit painful. But this is where you didn't see that. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, lordy. I wonder how many tons of honey you would need to harvest to justify getting one of those fancy new them and horizontal extractor machines that are like worth thousands well hundreds of thousands probably i don't know how much they're all worth but anyway we're not anywhere near that level <laughs> right i just realized i haven't brought me hand washing bucket i might go and do that before i push the go button or maybe i'll have i got one clean thing <laughs> i've got one clean finger to push go are we ready? We're off! Shit. Having a bit of a wobble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we might need to hold it down. <laughs> Stop it! Where's the emergency button? <laughs> okay, that's a fail. 
Shit! Good golly, Miss Molly. We'll just try a different setting for a start. I don't know. I guess you just go through them, do you? Maybe we'll go back to one. And we might as well start at one. We know that two is not much chop. So here we go. I'm guessing I'll just stand over here by the emergency stop button and see what happens this time. Great if the legs wobbled off, wouldn't it? <laughs> Stop your man thing! Oh, okay, well that's no good. I think we're gonna have to hook it to a pallet yet then. <sighs> we might have to get the old girl out of retirement yet. Just to have a quicker ride on the jet though. I would say just at this particular moment in time, this isn't proving very successful. But maybe they've just had it on the wrong setting in the first part of things, so we're up to mode seven, so we're it, we're up to the one. But then I tried to do one you can supposed to be able to program, and I don't know, where's the directions? We'll see if we can figure out how we can program our own program, because that still just did its own thing. Oh, we might get the old faithful out yet. Yeah, we've made a bit of a mess here. Man. Well, I guess that's one way to get the honey off the frame. <laughs> Golly gosh. Oh, it's a little bit of a bad sticky. Anyway, not to be deterred, we might have another crack with a different one. I think I had one light frame in there before it went nuts, but I don't know about this bit. We might just take out these ones that are ruined, and we'll run through the program and figure out which one to pick. I do think that was quite the right setting somehow. Far <laughs> out. I think I need an ocker strap on that bastard to hold that up too. It keeps it falling down on my head. And these ones that haven't fallen apart have still got a reasonable amount of honey in, so I don't know about that. Oh, hell. Mr. I Woo Hoo won't be bloody happy with my efforts, will really. <laughs> Any good suggestions? I think they're quite right when they said caution. With a lightning strike. Careful of power. <sighs> careful power before operating. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean. Careful power before operating. If you didn't have power, it wouldn't operate real fast, but... <laughs> well, I'm trying to be positive, and I'm thinking to myself that we had the two frames together that didn't fall apart, and we had the other eight, six frames, seven, eight, seven frames, that basically disintegrated because we had it on the wrong setting. Maybe that's why it's trying to dance its way out of the tent. But I don't know. Hell, now I've only got two frames in there, it's still being cranky. <laughs> I reckon we might have to hook it into a pallet. Tell me what's going on. Well, I think I've just been taken advantage of. <laughs> That's what I reckon. You know, I'm a bloody rough engineer, but at least I'd drill the hole in the middle, wouldn't I? But whether that'd be enough to throw it offline like that, but it sort of hell wouldn't help. Ah, I'll just go and get myself a shifter and see if we can't rectify this little problem. Otherwise, you might be getting the postage return. I wonder if I had a money back guarantee. I doubt that very much. <laughs> well, so far, I think the most impressive part about this piece of equipment is this fancy little tap. That looks pretty impressive. My goodness me. I don't know. Are we going to try it on a pallet or are we going to dynabolt it to the... I'm just thinking if I dynabolt it to the concrete floor, I'll probably rip the blood my legs off the full thing the way it was wobbling. No, I don't know. Well, I've got a blooming pot full of wax. Look at that. A little tear in my eye. <laughs> Very sad. I was all excited and now I'm all depressed. <sighs> Poo. That's what I'd like to say. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll have to go to the shop and get a bolt and... Know, maybe we'll hook it down to a pallet and see what we do with that. Ah! Damn it! Anyway, I thought, well, rather than going for a big drive, we'll just screw it to this thing for a minute. 
and moments like this when the naysayers would say, you better get the old one back out again and use that. That worked. That's what my old man would have said. But you know what? We are determined. We're going to see if we can actually justify a $1,500 bargain. <laughs> this is how a bloke gets filthy, you know, doing this sort of thing. Goodness me. Anyway. Right. I really should have known better, really, shouldn't I? It's probably a bad sign when you see half price special. You might, you might know that everybody else is sending them back because it didn't work. I was probably a bit ambitious thinking that it was going to work on these funny little rubber legs, wasn't it? I might bring it over this way a bit so as when I stand on the pallet I'm not so short. I already felt short. These screws aren't ideal, but anyway, they'll give us an indication as to whether this is a good idea or not. I knew you were thinking this would be boring. But John thought this was going to be a boring episode again about extracting honey. He had himself all concerned about what we were going to use, and I don't know. And look at us. Look at us. Is that maybe it's his fault? Do you reckon it would be his fault? He could actually have sent out bad thoughts towards me. No, I don't think so. I think it's just a bit of dodgy construction. Anyway, here's for being positive. Let's get the hope this bloody thing works after this bit of excitement. Do you reckon if this actually works, a bloke will ever go to the shop and buy some bolts? Don't know, probably when the screws crack, that's probably what'll happen. Come on, muscles, help me put it back where it belongs. I'm feeling about 20% confident. <laughs> we'll put some more weight back in her and see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully. In theory, it should work. Like, not that bloody much involved, really, up, other than just keeping it balanced. What's that? Something fell off. <laughs> Here do. I think it's a little bit destructive to the frames. We'll never get out of here. I'm not sure, are we up to stage two now with this experiment? I'll just put that one there because that's a light one and I've got one the opposite light one here somewhere. Stop it! <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, I don't know. Ow! That's not friendly when I wax you. Whose idea was it to become a beekeeper? Oh, gosh. What were you thinking, lad? <laughs> Just as well honey tastes nice, isn't it? Otherwise <laughs> it would be no fun. Cool. Now if I put this on, keep an eye on it for me because I'm just going to look the other way so I don't have to cry again. Are we ready? Number five. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> if you were on the crank handle, she'd be a bit busy, wouldn't it? <sighs> I suppose at least you could adjust how quick you were spinning then. Thinking, that looks like it's going pretty good. Maybe I'll go over and decap some more so we can get organised. I think this has developed into quite a circus, hasn't it? Goodness me. I don't know, John. Here we go, this is the quick bit. Dogs are getting excited. <laughs> so maybe 
maybe we go with seven and then three. Maybe not. <laughs> One percent. Hey, stop it. Boy, oh boy. I think we've had a little explosion. <laughs> ah, stop, 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 that's that button. What are we running on? Is it five? Yeah, you silly machine. So I've started actually, I've decided I'm going to put it up on its side like that and go across. Because with this honey paw, you're meant to go that way instead of that way. Like with a cat pea knife, you'd come down here. Whereas with this, you're supposed to be carrying to their directions. So I've decided that I'm just going to put it, seems to work better if it warms up. It's still warming up, but anyway. When it's warmed up. I don't know, it just seems a bit easier. Better. I don't know. Critical review. I guess that's the thing. I don't know. At this stage, I don't know whether we're absolutely set up for these bloody frames this way around. I have found out that it's better to actually just run it just constantly at a speed that you can control because it has two programs where you can just control it rather than their fancy ass backwards and forwards programs that they've got running. But, ah, oh shit, I don't know. All in all, I'd say I'm not overexcited, but still, it's the first time round. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I probably wouldn't rush out and buy another one. So I've got these frames here that I'm very disappointed with how much honey's still left in them. So I'm going to run them back through again because I've got this organised. As long as I'm controlling it, it seems to work reasonably well. But I guess I've got to get the shit warmer or something because it seems to take a blooming long time. Anyway, here we are, critical review. I think we're critical. 